Hey, Aries singles. Let's see what's going on with my Aries and I love. It's your girl, Empress Meek. Hey, Aries. My daughter is an Aries. I love y'all to pieces. Yes, we vibe. It's a whole vibe. So, I am sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. Love, light, and positive energy. Let's see what's going on and what's coming towards you in love. We're going to look at what may be blocking you from the love you want. And then we're going to get advice from spirit to let you know how you should move forward to get this love. Okay. Um, the main thing you need to do is trust in divine timing. This situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. When it's time for you to get it, you got it. You got it, Aries. So let's see. For my Aries spirit, show Aries what's coming toward them in love. Oh, engagement. Wow. Some of my Aries have an engagement. You can expect engagement in your future regarding love. A honeymoon. All right. Wow. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Make the effort is here. So I feel like your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Wow, so some of my daggone Aries got love in the air. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you're practicing that. I see you letting some things go. Cleansing your energy. Making room. That's the main thing for when you bring in something new in your life. Make room for it. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So a lot of Libras, I mean, so some of my Aries, I'm sorry, may need to forgive, okay? Forgive your parents. Maybe there's some things going on between you and one of your parents. Um, feel like somebody's parent here was a bit too controlling. Maybe they didn't know how to communicate with you properly. Um, but there's something here about you having to forgive them. Um, maybe being able to communicate with them, trying to see what's, you know, what you can do to make things move forward in your relationship, possibly. Um, let's see if there's any blockages for you here, Aries. Spirit, show Aries if there's any blockages blocking their path regarding love, true love, commitment, or anything blocking them from working this thing out with their family. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's some type of strife going on with the family. Um, something regarding trust. Maybe somebody felt backstab. I feel like... Um, Somebody's mom is too controlling, and then somebody's brother, like, it's a backstabber, okay? Not <laughs> the backstabbers, backstabbers, they smile in your face. Aries said, I'm not playing with them. I love you, but look, back up, because you can be treated just like any stranger if you want to act like one. And I know that's right, Aries. Don't play with Aries. Aries, so right now, Spirit is saying what you could do is trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So trust your intuition, your God factor. All right, you're not alone. Spirit is guiding you. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good, as you should be. And it's nothing wrong with that. You're set apart and very much so have a boss-like mentality. You don't fraternize much. And the, hey, that's the mindset of a great leader, okay? Um, you get to know people, but at your own advantage. <laughs> Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents to me. Yes. So these are the things Spirit wants you to work on. And love. Opening your heart. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So do your best to see the good in all things. That will raise your vibrations even higher to the higher level of gratitude. Okay. So try to see the good in all things. Then it'll make you even more grateful. All right. <laughs> I like this. Go ahead, Aries. Let's see what else is here for Aries. And I know Aries that work in my post office that didn't call me for my new mailbox key. If you're watching this, girl, give me my key. Call me. What do I need to do? <laughs> I mean, I got my mail, but I don't want to ha um, harass the mailman every time. All right. So let's see what else is here for Aries. We got engagement. And oh, what's happening with this? Engagement for Aries. Why is it here, Spirit? A love call. <laughs> I'm here. They all started with a call. So, um, yeah, somebody is calling you. Somebody could be thinking about you and letting you know. Somebody be, could be calling you to tell you that they miss you. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, we got talking. Interested in conversing more, awaited messages, arrived texts, or hoovering. So somebody is probably going to call you and invite you out. 
somebody could be expressing their that they miss you but some of you you already are engaged with someone but for some of you you have engagement in your future and also um honeymoon could talk about a trip a vacation planning to get away um traveling over water so you guys could be just planning on taking a trip a cruise i'm here for somebody y'all gotta take a cruise make the effort so great love is worth taking the steps your god is to take aries so here Things take time. Cycles need time. You need time to heal from something also. But you do have something good coming towards you after ending something that may have been significant for you. Or maybe you felt like it was going good, but then it wasn't. Or you were ignoring all kinds of red flags. Yeah, you're right now in the process of forgiving and learning a situation because you were find, you found out that you were with a narcissist. Um, somebody who was very self-absorbed. All right, and all about themselves. So now Spirit is going to give you a taste of how it feels to have somebody reciprocate your energy without you feeling depleted, okay? That's so beautiful. Oh, the chaser. Yeah, this person kept you in this chaser energy. Codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Yeah, so you're healing. And for some of you, you could have picked up this from, from dealing with your family, um, being left and feeling like you're going to be left. Maybe some people that were very close to you, you... Um, you lost those people for a certain point of time and maybe it didn't last long, but still you lost people that really loved you and it triggered you. Like you don't like you don't take kindly into people leaving your life. You're just like, no, once I love you, I just I need you to stay. <laughs> like, oh, Aries. Um, but I see those things coming to a resolve for you. Now let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about um your new love and your new opportunities coming and what you need to do to get it. Spirit, what do you need Aries to know about moving forward? What does Aries need to know about their past? For my Aries, please. Yeah, I see you working hard, Aries. And somebody could be watching you. Look, you are... Somebody could be watching you. I see this Knight of Wands in reverse. All right? So I feel like somebody could be watching you. This could be somebody from the same sex. Okay, somebody here could be of the same, um, like the same sex. Um, I feel like somebody, wow. So I feel like the hanging man is here. Somebody is no longer feeling stuck or stagnant in a situation or somebody is so, okay, so these cards must belong in the, hold on Aries. I'm just going to put them all back and see what comes out. And I don't mind reading the message, but I want to make sure it's right. My deck was upside down. So let's see what comes what's coming out. Spirit, can you repeat that for Aries, please? What do they need to know about moving forward on their path? For Aries, please. All right. So my cards are mixed up. So Aries, you could be making money and, th and trying to make fast money or somebody is making fast money the knight of pentacles is somebody who makes fast money but takes their time um very stagnant energy not really moving you could have been with somebody who was kind of slow about getting money or or like i don't know establishing themselves i feel like you weren't in that energy okay even though this person was your wish I feel like you felt pretty defeated because this person wasn't moving, you know? Some of you are dealing with a younger earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like this person that you were dealing with was just very stagnant and trying to, like, be manipulative to win. And you didn't like that. This made the, the tower come down. And I feel like even though this person was your wish... This tower came down because they were being, it was like they were trying to one up or being deceptive. Like this is a ruthless win. And I feel like you didn't like that. And even though that was your wish, this made the tower come down because this person backstabbed you to win. They betrayed you. <clears throat> and I feel like this person is, you're holding back from this person. You can feel like this person is holding on to you, but you're like, nope, I'm not reconciling with you. Because anybody that's going to backstab me to win and we supposed to be partners, I don't want you. Not only that, you found out that this person was a cheater. A king of wands in reverse. This person could just want to have sex. <coughs> they don't want me to tell you their secrets. <coughs> so you stop talking to them. Yep. <coughs> you stop talking to this person, you ended it. So spirit wants you to have faith. This person is thinking about you heavy. 
They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about all of this. <coughs> but Spirit wants you to have faith. You have a new beginning and a new relationship coming. But in the meantime, you left this out in the cold. And you have to stand your ground, okay? This person is about to go through some serious karma. And you don't need to be anywhere around. Yeah, you don't need to be anywhere around. Um, this person could be very sad right now with the Ace of Pentacles. I see that you are this person's wish fulfillment. And I see that you're pretty sad right now. Yeah, pretty sad right now. You could be feeling sad or they're feeling really sad, okay, about this situation. And I'm noticing the cards at the bottom. You just feel like this person isn't passionate enough. They're not ambitious enough. And the things that they were doing, then they had the nerve to try to be sneaky. This person is crying though. They were shedding, they they're feeling really sad. They're feeling down and very emotionally imbalanced. But <clears throat> that's their problem because they weren't trying to learn their lesson. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you. So, what do you want to tell Aries about this situation that they're dealing with? I feel like for some of my male Aries, you wanted to marry this person. You could have been about to propose to them. Or for some of my female areas, you felt like this person was going to be the one to propose to you. But Spirit is telling you, <clears throat> this person has an addiction also. So for some of you, some of somebody is struggling with an addiction. All right? And that's affecting your relationship. Take it how it resonates, but the other party does not like that. And they're not going to go for that, okay? Um, patience, everything will unfold in divine timing and longing. Somebody is secretly longing for you. It's this person. You're running through this person's mind rent-free. They can't stop thinking about you. All right, Aries. So I'm going to let you go. Let's get a self-love um, message for you. <clears throat> your message is unleash your passion. <clears throat> hmm. So this is telling you to do things that will help you unleash your passion. Um, this is telling you do things that will help you enjoy pleasurable moments. So maybe yoga, listening to some soothing music. You can do stretches, exercises, running. Um, anything that will soothe and relax you, okay? And for some of you, if this is if you're sexually active, this is telling you to connect with your sexual energy, okay? All right, loveies. So this was your reading, Aries. I love you so much. I'm laughing because I said if you're sexually active, <laughs> but young people watch me and not everybody is having sex. So I don't want to encourage people to do sexual things that's not having sex. Okay. All right, Aries. Thank you so much. I love you and I mean it. In the meantime, in between time, love on yourself, love on each other, and love on me in the comments. Give me some comments, y'all. Be, be a heartbeat over here. Come on. Connect with me. <laughs> All right, Aries. I'll see you on the next video. If you need a personal reading, email me. Closer, the number two, my destiny, and the number one at gmail.com. All right, Aries, bye.